Imagine if every brand had to clean up after itself. Sell a soda, take back the bottle, ship a phone, collect it when it dies. That's not a futuristic dream. It's called Extended Producer Responsibility, EPR, and it's changing the way business is done. EPR equals three R's of real responsibility. Return the waste, recycle what can be saved, report your impact. Extended producer responsibility means you make it, you clean it. Let's take a real world tour. France makes brands fund e-waste and textile recycling. India? Big brands must recover plastic or pay a fine. Japan tracks packaging like it's gold. It's accountability with consequences. Less landfill, less ocean plastic better product design. And guess who's not paying for cleanup anymore? Yep, you. Tech is key. QR codes track returns. AI sorts materials. EPR dashboards show who's pulling their weight. Some countries even gamify it. Leaderboards for recycling champs. Some companies hate this. Returns are hard. Logistics, messy, and informal waste workers often get left behind. But the truth is, extended producer responsibility isn't just a policy, it's modern karma. In Sanatan Dharma, your actions follow you. Extended producer responsibility says the same. If you create it, you're responsible for what happens next. That's karma capitalism, electronics, packaging, plastics, textiles, even batteries. If it creates waste, extended producer responsibility is watching. So next time you see that EPR registered label, smile. The system's working. Let's make polluters pay and recyclers rule. Like, share, and tag a brand that needs this reminder. Mm-hmm.